All right, for this look, I think I want to do something maybe kind of bronzy, maybe kind of a soft glam effect going on. So I think I'm going to start with Fighter, which is this kind of a chocolatey tan here, and go ahead and lay that down in my crease, and then maybe go into Covert, which is kind of this reddish chocolate shade here, and then lay down one of these little bronze shimmers. But let's go ahead and get started and see what we end up with. I fight her down on my brush. As you can see, I have tape laid down on the outside corners. I thought I would try to do something a little bit more defined. Because as you guys know, laying down the tape, it helps give you a more defined arch and wing on the outside with both shadow and liner. I'm just laying down that kind of a chocolatey bronze shade in the outer corner and taking that into the crease. And now I'm going to dip into this covert shade and we're going to build up the outer corner and the crease just a little bit more. I did a video um, reviewing this eyeshadow palette as well as the face palette i'll drop that down in the description box below i will say working with these shadows the second time around in this video they are blending much better than they did when i did the first video when i did the actual review video they're actually blending a lot better thought i had something on my elbow Take a little bit more and just deepen that shade up. I'm going to take my e.l.f. shadow brush and I'm going to go into power. I just want to add just a little bit of that on the outer corner. Just kind of tap that in just to deepen just that little area right there. It is Sunday when I'm filming this. I actually filmed this yesterday on Saturday, but I was having like major lighting issues. So, and it just, the look didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. So I thought I would go ahead and reshoot it. I mean, we've got nothing but time. These days I'm not in the deadline or anything. And if I'm going to upload something, I want it to look as good as I can make it look right now, having just a ring light. Eventually I'm going to get some um, soft box lights to add a little bit more lighting and to kind of soften everything up but I have not quite gotten there yet but eventually I will. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few of these bronzy shades. I just want to kind of see what they look like before I put them on my eyes. I did do a swatch video when I did the review but it was a little while ago and I'm not quite my memory is not as good as it used to be so I just want to kind of remind myself of how they look but this one is heroic. See what that looks like. That's pretty. Nice golden kind of a bronzy shade there. Now I'm going to swatch Cypher. Cypher looks more, definitely more kind of a copper bronze kind of effect going on. Let's see what that one looks like. That one is definitely less metallic than this one. It's got a little more of a bronze copper kind of effect going on. It's pretty. And now let's do Sabotage. Sabotage looks like it's more of a granite kind of a shimmer. Hmm. That's pretty, but I don't I don't think that I don't think I'm gonna go I'm going for that kind of an effect today. I'm gonna go ahead and do relentless too. I know what this one looks like, but ooh, this one is really, really buttery. It feels very, very good in the pan. Let's see what it looks like on. That's pretty too. It's either between this one or this one. I guess it just kind of depends on if I want a more bronzy effect or more gold effect. Mm, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to do Relentless. I want more of a kind of a bronze copper look than a golden effect with this one. I'm using my Joel brush. I have it kind of packed on with that shadow and I'm laying it down. Y'all, I have been looking for this brush for the last couple of weeks. It is my absolute favorite packing brush for laying on shimmer shadows and I could not find it. This morning I was cleaning up my makeup area and kind of reorganizing my drawers and I finally found it. It had rolled underneath my bamboo makeup organizer so it was like underneath it all the way in the back and I happened to find it because I was sitting on the floor going through my drawers and I look up and I'm like oh 
there it was. I was so happy because this is absolutely my favorite brush when it comes to packing on a shimmer shadow. It just puts the shadow down so well and I was so, so happy to finally find it. That's very pretty. I have to say, I, these shadows are going on a lot better this go around than they did when I did the actual initial review. I'm also not wearing anything on my eyelids. I usually lay down my Juvia's Place concealer, but I'm not wearing it today. I really don't have actually, you know, anything on my eyelids at all right now. And I don't know, maybe that made a difference. Maybe the, the my Juvia's Place just doesn't work as well with these shadows. I'm going to take my kind of a fluffy blending brush and go back into that fighter shade. I want to take it just a little bit over the top just to kind of blend everything in. Just a little bit, just to kind of smoke out the top. That is coming out very nice. Actually looks better than it did the first time I tried to put this look together. I was having issues also with my face. Like every, The lighting was causing my face to be super, super, super glowy. It was storming outside, and so I didn't have as much natural light coming in. So, you know, that may have had something to do with it. I'm going to take a little bit of this relentless shade, and I'm going to lay that right here. Right there in that inner area. Just to kind of add a little bit of a glow and highlight to the inner portion, excuse me, portion of the eye. Oh, that's really pretty. All right, I think we're done with the top eyelid. I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape, and then we're going to go ahead and throw something on the lower lash line, and then we're going to do the liner, you know, and everything else. I'm going to take just a little bit of my foundation. I'm using the full spectrum one from CoverGirl just to kind of pat down the edges around my eye because I didn't do this area when I laid down the tape because I knew it was just going to mess up anyway. So go ahead and fix that just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my AOA Perfect Studio Powder here on that same sponge. And we're going to set that down so that I can blend a little bit of that shadow on the lower lash line and it won't be all messy. I'm going to take just a little bit of the covert shade and we're going to lay that on the outer corner of the lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out just a little bit. And then blend that into this area just to kind of soften it just a little bit. Go back in with my liner brush, a little bit more of that relentless shade right there, and take that on the lower lash line in here in the inner corner and connect that to that kind of burgundy shade that we put on the lower lash line on the outside corner. For liner, I'm using the LA Colors Eye Marker. This is in black. I'm not going to do a wing today. All I really want to do is just kind of fill in the base of that uh, upper lash line just to kind of define it a little bit. So we're going to kind of go in this inner corner. We're going to stay really close to that lash line and we're just going to fill it in just a little. Just so when we put on our lashes, that line is filled in just a little bit. Kind of tight lining as it as it were. Staying close to the lash base and basically just defining it. Nothing nothing too too fancy or drastic today. Or dramatic, not drastic. I'm going to go off camera and do my lashes and my lips and the rest of my face. I've already done foundation, concealer, powder, blush, highlighter, all that will be down in the description box below. But I'm going to go ahead and finish off my face and then we'll come back and we'll look at the final look. Lashes and lips are done. What do you guys think? I think it came out really pretty. Nice gold, soft, glam kind of a look going on with the eyes. I went with a kind of a pinky nude to the lips just to kind of bring everything together but that's look number one let's go ahead and move on to look number two all right let's do look number two i think for this one i want a more grungier kind of a smoky look so we're definitely going to focus on these two shades right here and then maybe this one i'm going to go ahead and take covert 
It's just kind of a reddish cocoa shade right here, and I'm going to lay that down in the crease. I have not primed my eyelids. Usually I use my Juvia's Place Concealer. You guys know I'll, that's like usually my favorite thing to prime my eyelids first. But I noticed when I did the first look, I actually forgot to lay it down. And the shadows went on so much better. And they just blended so much nicer. So I don't know if that was the concealer that was causing the issues in the review or... Maybe the shadows just were not performing that day, but I'm going to go ahead and not do the concealer this time too and just kind of see, you know, what happens and where we end up. Just laying down that covert shade all in the crease and blending it to the outer part of the eye. I have tape laid down again for this look. I thought it'd be a little bit easier for me with the me doing the kind of smoky look. I have a hair right there. It's driving me crazy. Then I'm going to dip into Power, which is this kind of a deep red shade right there we're gonna lay that here taking that into the the crease blending it into what we just laid down so how are you guys doing today it is monday when i'm filming this i filmed look number one yesterday which was sunday it's a nice pretty day it was storming on saturday when i was filming my palette collection video i ended up having to do the last part on Sunday because the, the storm is just messing up my lighting and it was it just wasn't going Very well when I got to the last part of that video might go outside for a walk or something. It's just it's Very very pretty it's supposed to be like in the 70s today Which is nice because we've had here in Memphis, you know a lot of up and down temperatures. We can get four seasons in one week it, It's crazy I'm just laying that shade down right here and then taking it right into that fold where my crease is. Just blending it all out. Now I'm going into Undercover. Undercover is this black shade right here. I have not used this shade yet. Blacks are a little tricky. They can be really, they can come out like really chalky and not blend very well. They can look really, really dark in the pan and then not perform that way on the eye. But I'm just laying this down right here and blending it in this corner. I just want that smokiness just right there. I don't use a lot of blacks. I tend to find that on me they can look a little bit too harsh if they're not blenderized. And I don't mean harsh in like that, you know, hot, gothic kind of a look, but... Um, like I went, like I basically tried to do my makeup and then went to a Marilyn Manson concert and got caught in the rain. That's kind of what it ends up looking like, if that makes any sense. So black usually is not my favorite shadow, but I do like playing around with it sometimes. Right there in that outer corner area. We're going to take a fluffy brush, a smaller fluffy brush, and just kind of blend it out just a little bit. It's a nice black. It's not my, my absolute favorite. It's not as black as I would like it to be, but it's nice. Kind of want a smoky wing on the outside, so I'm taking it right into the tape. Hopefully it'll come out the way that I am wanting it to. I'm going to take this kind of a small, detailed, fluffy crease brush and just kind of blend it just a little bit. Just so that it's a little bit more smoky. Just very, very lightly blend it out. I want to lay something down on the lower lash line. I'm not sure though. I think I'm going to lay down Infiltrate. Kind of that steel gray shimmer. And just put that right here on the outer portion of the lower eyelid. Yeah, I kind of like that. When I did my review, this is the shade that I used on the upper lid as kind of my uh, to lay down all over the lid, and it was not performing the way that. I was hoping it would, but when I did my palette collection video and I swatched it for that, it looked so much better. So I don't know if maybe there was just a layer on the top that needed to come off, but even now it looks better than it did the other day. Ooh, that may be a little much going on, but 
Well, I'm going to blend everything and hopefully everything will come together. Taking my e.l.f. crease brush, my little detail brush, I really like this one. I'm just blending that blue out just a little. Now I'm going to take my Joa eyeshadow brush and take a shimmer and lay that down all over the eyelid. I want something a little more smoky here, a little more sultry, so I think I'm going to take Fiery, which is that kind of a red shimmer, and we're going to lay that all over the eyelid. This is my absolute favorite, favorite brush for laying down shimmers. I had said in the last video when I did the first look that I had lost it. I'd spent a couple of weeks, didn't know where it was, and then I was reorganizing my makeup drawers, and I found it. It was underneath my bamboo um, makeup organizer where I keep all my, my facial cleansers. I mean, facial cleansers, my skincare products and stuff at, and it had rolled underneath it. So when I saw this, it was like Christmas. I was, I was so, so happy. I have a lot of eyeshadow brushes, but none of them lay down my shimmer shadows the way this one does. But we're just laying that down all over the eyelid. That is really pretty. It's kind of red, but copper and gold. There's like little specks of gold all through it. It's absolutely beautiful. Taking a little bit more of that power shade and just blending it right in here into that shimmer shade. Just a little. Taking a smaller e.l.f. eyeshadow brush so I can take just a little bit more of that black right in here. And then we're going to Take off the tape and then do liner and lashes and all that jazz. I'm going to go ahead and take my sponge and I'm going to soften right here because I didn't lay down any foundation or anything. Whenever I do tape, I try to avoid laying down foundation and stuff in this area so that the tape will lay down the way that I want it to. And then I'll go back and I'll just kind of tap foundation in just to kind of blend everything into each other. So what do you guys think? I like it so far. It's a nice kind of a smoky little grungy look there. I'm gonna take a little bit of sabotage underneath. I'm gonna take it, well the inner corner here underneath. From here into the lower lash line blending it into that infiltrate. That's what I'm trying to say. Infiltrate shade. My allergies are going a little wild today. I took some allergy medicine this morning, but my voice may sound like a little croaky. That's what happens this time of year. Pollen absolutely hates me. So my sinuses have been a little, little messed up today, but, you know, we're getting through it. Taking a clean, fluffy brush, and we're just going to just blend everything together just a little bit. Just to kind of soften. I do think I want to take a little bit more of that cobalt shade just right in here. Just a little bit. Just right at the top edge of where we laid everything down. And then, big fluffy brush, blend it out. Go ahead and line my eyes. I'm using the LA Colors Eye Marker. I used the same liner pen in the first look. I'm definitely going to go ahead and wing this out just a little bit since I want a more bold, defined cat eye with this look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pen, I'm going to draw where I want, how high I want the wing to be. So I kind of want it here. So I'm going to take that straight down. Now you can see that's kind of hard to see with the with the fact that I've done the black liner too. I mean the black eyeshadow that I use to smoke everything out. And then I'm gonna take it and go in that way. And then you just fill it in. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Go ahead and throw my lashes and do my lips, just like with the first look. Everything that's on my face will be down in the description box, and we'll come back and we'll do some. Final thoughts. And that is look number two, all completed. I've done my lashes, I've done my lips. I decided to go with a more bold red lip to kind of go with this grungy eye look. What do you guys think? I think it's kind of pretty. It's nice and smoky and grungy, but 
That's look number two. So which look did you guys like best? I think I like the first look better. I like this grungy, smoky look that I have going on here, but I also just love natural, just bold, soft, glam, bronzy eye looks. If you're new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and joined our little family. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.